The ultimatum that Mary of Denmark gave to Queen Margaret and which may have influenced the abdication. Breaking down everything hidden in the future Queen Consort's most candid phrase, Mary of Denmark is going through the most intense phase of her life. Ever since the photos of Federico Denmark walking with Genevieve Casanova in Madrid were published exclusively, the future Queen Consort has been on everyone's lips. Especially since December 31st, Queen Margaret announced that on January 14th she would abdicate in favor of her son. A decision in which Mary would also play a fundamental role. Mary Donaldson gave her mother-in-law Margaret of Denmark an ultimatum not to divorce Federico after the most talked-about photos of recent times came to light. In fact, abdication is what Maria herself asked for. Either we are now kings or it's over, the statement commented, as the queen-to-be's wife recounted how she believed her mother-in-law should abdicate. And that her husband should rule. An ultimatum that is a true reflection of several issues, including how it was influenced by the affair between Frederick of Denmark and Genevieve Casanova, details of Mary Donaldson's ultimatum. Mary Donaldson's phrase ultimatum regarding the future of her marriage and her role in the monarchy reflects the shock she felt when she saw the photographs of Frederick of Denmark and Genevieve Casanova. Such an ultimatum would have shown that he had taken matters into his own hands in the face of a situation that had caused so much unrest. A true reflection that she was possessed by both anger and sadness, and that it was inevitable for her to think of strategies to save her image, because Mary Donaldson's ultimatum to Queen Margaret and her husband Frederick of Denmark also shows that she was worried about her image and the monarchy. He also indicates that the controversy that arose over his marriage made him rethink his life. He could even think that if nothing changed, he would not rule out the possibility of returning to Australia with his family and thus get away from everything. The phrase revealed by Luis Pliego is also a statement of intent that she would only be willing to resist pressure if she stopped being a princess so that her husband could become queen and she could play the role of consort. A role by which to gain more importance, if possible, gain some power and try to focus on that rather than Federico de Denmark's much-discussed stroll through Madrid with Genevieve Casanova. Again a demonstration that she cares about all this fuss and how to resolve a very unpleasant situation for her reappearing with a statement of intent from Maria of Denmark. Another striking example of how Mary Donaldson might have gained strength from Queen Margaret's decision to abdicate is her final appearance. On January 1, she and Federico were at a gala dinner hosted by the still monarch. This was their reappearance as it became known that they would reign on January 14. Mary was not serious and aloof as she had been in November and December, but began the year radiating strength. Smiling, firm and with a strong gaze, she began to note in her attitude the before and after with which she planned to achieve her husband's proclamation.